Miniverse Diner Series, Series 2, Wave 2. I can't wait to see what we get to put together. Less chatter, more opening. Let's do this. Let's take a look at all the new Wave 2 pieces. I can't get over how big this is. There are 24 things to make. The Berry Charlotte is new. Lemon Tartlets. Choco Bunt Cake. <laughs> I wonder if I'm my big fat Greek wedding, the Bunt Cake. We have some amazing looking sundaes. Hey, I've already found that banana split. So the two new pizzas are margarita and meat. The ramen. Oh, banana cream pie. I love banana cream pie. Apple pie. And oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. We have the Choco Strawberry Cake. I really hope we get some brand new pieces today. All right, let's get started. We have so many packages to open up. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, so let's open up our first one. Have a sunny day. And what do we have? Ooh, okay. All right, so looks like we may have maybe some pepperoni. It says here, Sunny Bros Deli. So, hmm, let's see what else we got here. It looks like we got a pizza box. I don't know, our pizza box is broken. <laughs> It looks like it got smashed, but that is a-okay. We always make it work. All right, let's open up our next one. And we have, ooh, looks like we have some grated cheese. So I'm assuming that this is the meat lover's pizza. All right, so there is our actual pizza crust. And under keep cool, looks like this is our resin and it sure is don't eat it and let's go ahead and open up our silverware i'm gonna guess yep that's it <laughs> it is a pizza cutter yay it is a pizza cutter we do have the tongs i already have my own tongs so i'm gonna use these so there is a piece of tape right here so let's go ahead and cut this to see if there's actually something inside right here we go oh my god something inside looks like this was meant to keep the pizza box open and we have a little paper to put our pizza on right you guys let's put it together so here are our directions so we already opened up our pizza box put the pizza down we just need to add the resin add the pepperoni add the cheese and then put it under the uv light all right you guys let's do this All right, so some of that sauce is already coming out. Now I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. I always ask for extra cheese. <laughs> cheese is the best. But I think this is enough of the resin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my tweezers. I'm gonna go ahead and just spread our resin out just a little bit. It doesn't really need too much, but just enough to make it look nice and neat. I think that looks pretty good. You have an air bubble right here and we got it. So let's open up our pepperoni. A few more air bubbles. So let me see if I can pop those. There we go. Now here's the thing you guys, whenever I order pizza, I always order just a cheese pizza. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of toppings, especially not pepperoni, but I know a lot of you love to put pepperoni on your pizza. And this is called the meat lover's pizza. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna load this up with pepperoni. But also it begs the question you guys, do you like pepperoni on your pizza or do you just like plain cheese on your pizza let me know down on those comments do you prefer just plain cheese or do you like pepperoni or is there something else you like to put on your pizza let me straighten these up a little bit So as I said, this is a meat lover. <laughs> so I think we should use 
all of the pepperonis. Now I know you all have told me in the past that just because Miniverse uh, gives you the extra pieces doesn't mean you have to use it, but I think in this case, I think we should use as many of the pepperonis as we possibly can. I think that looks pretty good. So per those instructions, let's go ahead and open up our grated cheese and let's go ahead and add that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I don't want to add too much because you can see that's covering up the pepperonis and we don't want that. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit right here on the edge. Do I like that? A little bit more right here. I think that looks pretty tasty. UV light. So here is our awesome pepperoni pizza. Whoop. This one was really, really fun, really, really easy, and I think it turned out absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, we got three more. But let me show you guys this first. It's Miniverse Halloween. So here's the thing, I ordered nine of them, but I've only gotten seven so far. The reason why I ordered so many is because I want to complete the entire collection. And there's three in the collection. So as soon as I get the other balls in the mail, I will be unboxing these. If you'd like to see that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be the first to see this video. So we unboxed a little doily, so this definitely means we got something brand new. But let's see if it's from Wave 2. So here in Keep Cool. Ooh. <laughs> We have sunny days glaze. Looks like it's chocolate. Don't eat it. Next, we have. Oh my goodness, you guys! <laughs> it looks like we got the chocolate bunt cake. How exciting! All right, let's go ahead and open up our silverware. Oop. We have a fork, and of course, we have those tongs and the little topper. Next, we have. Ooh, let's see this. Oh. Right. So we got some whipped cream. I think the whipped cream is so stinking cute, you guys. Like Miniverse like knocked it out of the park with how stinking cute the little whipped creams are. And looks like we have a little stand. This is what our bunt cake is supposed to look like. And it looks pretty easy to make. That's how we're gonna make our bunt cake. We have our little stand. We'll put the doily on the stand, put the bunt cake down, put the chocolate on, then the whipped cream, and then put it under the UV light. All right, you guys, let's do it. All right, so there goes our chocolate. Now I'm gonna try to do like a little swivel design to see if it will flow just like it would be if you really did have a bun cake. All right, here is a different close-up. It's doing that spelling over thing that you often see on bun cakes. And this was the result I was hoping to get. So it's looking really, really good. I'm really, really impressed. This also looks really, really good. I think I may need to add a little bit more to like right here and also some right here. So let's put a little bit more on. All right, so we're adding just a little bit more to the side here. One right there. Then a couple minutes, and as you can see, our resin looks amazing. <laughs> and it's flowed over just the way I wanted to, and it really does look like a chocolate bun cake. All right, you guys, let's get that whipped cream on top. Let's open it up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think these little whipped creams with cherries are so stinking cute, you guys. I mean, look at that, you guys. It's the same design as if it just came out of the can. So the butt cake on the instructions has seven of them. So let's put seven on. 
All right, here is our first one. Tap, tap, tap. Our second one. So those directions, as we just said, showed seven of them. So maybe I need to just space it a little further apart. That looks right. So here goes our very last one. Let me bring some of these out. Now that looks like a circle. UV light. So here is our amazing bun cake. I can't get over how realistic this looks. It looks so tasty. This was a lot, a lot of fun. Easy to follow directions. Awesome, 10 out of 10. Right, you guys? Two left. All right, here we go. Now this one, the keep cool is already open. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have some sunny days pie filling. Don't eat it. How exciting. It looks like we got a pie, but under have a sunny day. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, we have some salted caramel. Who doesn't love salted caramel? And in this one, it's open too. <laughs> so it looks like we have a pie crust. Next, under Happy Sun Farms. We have, ooh, what's this? Oh my goodness, it looks like we have some apples. So it looks like we definitely got an apple pie. All right, so we have our little pie tin. And lastly, under our silverware, I'm guessing we're gonna get a fork. There are our tweezers. And we have, oh, no, we didn't get a fork. We got a little pie cutter. But yes, we definitely got that apple pie. So this one has a bit of a few steps. First, looks like we're gonna put down our doily, then our pie tin, our pie crust, fill it with the pie filling, and then put some apples on, put it under the UV light, and we're gonna put the top on with the ice cream, some more sauce, and then another round of UV light. All right, you guys, let's do this. All right, here comes some of that apple pie filling. And I'm only gonna put a little bit in to begin with. All right, let's go ahead and just move it around. Pop that little air bubble. There we go. UV light. Now you all taught me this trick of layering the pies so my apples don't sink down. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just layer everything. I think it's gonna look really, really neat. So let's let this harden. Well then. All right, next I'm gonna add a very thin layer of the apple pie filling. That looks pretty good. Whoop. Clean off my table. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spread this out a little bit more. There we go. Next, let's open up our apples. Uh, I am really happy that my apples are not sinking. <laughs> we don't have sinking apples. UV light. All done. All right, so per the instructions, we'll put the pie crust on top. Next, we need to put the ice cream on top, but I'm gonna put a little bit of resin down like glue so our ice cream stays. Little much, but that's okay. I guess we're supposed to put it on top. I'm not too worried about it. So we'll go ahead and just spread this part right here. And there's our ice cream. Ooh, they gave us three. Whoop. Oh, four. So let's put that ice cream right there. 
It's actually good that it spilled over just a little bit. I didn't realize how big the ice cream scoop was, so I think it's gonna work out just perfect. All right, let's see if that worked. It will pick it up from the eye. Oh, that totally worked, yay! So per the rest of the instructions, we're gonna go ahead and put the sauce, on, or the pie filling, I should say, on top. Maybe just a little bit more. I don't wanna like cover it, so we'll just put a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move the resin around just a little bit. I don't want it to like fall in one spot. I want it to look nice and even. I think that looks pretty good. UV light. All done. So here is our apple pie. So many of you have left me so many great comments how I can improve my miniverse, and I think it definitely worked out. Well, first of all, I love that we layered the apples so that my apples didn't sink. And I do like that I was able to stick the vanilla ice cream on top so it just pops right off. That's so awesome. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was a ton of fun. I liked it. All right, you guys. Last one. All right, you guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you like to be the first to see my new video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, you guys, let's do it. All right, here we go. So we have another doily. So let's go ahead and open our very first one. And we have a pie crust. <laughs> So let's see if we got something different than that apple pie. Let's see. Oh no, you guys. I think we got a duplicate, but let's go ahead and open absolutely everything. Here is a pie tin. And next we have the apples. <laughs> and we have that pie filling. That's okay, you guys. I have another one. I always come prepared for these unboxings. <laughs> All right, let's open it. All right, you guys, we got another doily. So hopefully it's not another apple pie. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's definitely something different. We have some raspberries. You guys, I'm so happy I bought that fifth ball. <laughs> Because you never know. All right, so it looks like we have a little string. Hmm, okay, so under keep cool, we have, ooh, we have some sunny days vanilla. Don't eat it. All right, let's go ahead and get out our silverware. Of course, we have our tongs. And of course, we have our little whoop, pie slicer. <laughs> All right, next, we have our little cake stand. And last, but certainly not least, under Made Fresh, oh my goodness, so we have a lady finger cake. We got the Berry Charlotte. I actually put the tiramisu together in one of my YouTube shorts. So this one is really, really fun to put together. We're gonna put down our cake stand, our doily, our lady finger cake, put down our resin with the raspberries, put it under the UV light, and put on our little bow. All right, you guys, let's do it. Let's go ahead and take this resin out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spread our resin. That looks pretty good. Let's open up our raspberries. Some went flying. All right, let's go ahead and put these raspberries in our resin. We're gonna make sure all of the raspberries get a little bit of the resin so they stick. I'm gonna add a raspberry right here because that resin is sticking out. And we have a little hole right here, so we'll put that one right there. UV light. Done. 
All right, let's test it out. Yay! Let's open up our ribbon. I love that it's pink. Now I had to put the bow on off camera cause it's really hard to put on with these nails. <laughs> it's really, really hard to put on with these nails, but um, that's okay. <laughs> so right now I'm just trying to place the bow in a good space. I think that looks good. And here is our awesome Berry Charlotte. Just like the tiramisu, it was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this one and I hope you guys liked it. So here's everything we put together today. Remember, be kind to one another. That's it, that's the video. Bye! Bye.